Thank you very much, Ian Henderson, Mayor Connell, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. I'm very honoured to be asked to launch the uh, public appeal to the Senator for the redevelopment of it, while being acutely aware that I'm in the presence of many who have served Australia honor honourably, who are serving Australia honourably, and who will be serving Australia honourably. I have not served Australia in that fashion, so I'm doubly honoured to be asked to launch, launch. I am nevertheless the child of my, both of my parents served, my grandfather served, and I was raised on the honourable Australian military tradition and the honour of those who have fallen in the service of Australia. That particular poem that we've just heard was taught to me by my father, and I thought it appropriate to reflect upon some of the words of that. I, I think the words are magnificent. In Flanders fields, the poppies grow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow, and now, though scarce heard amid the guns below, and now we lie in Flanders fields. And the lines that are strong, that are interesting here, take up our quarrel with the, with the foe. To you with failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with, uh, with us who die, we shall not sleep though we lie in Flanders fields. And the reply from Moyna Mitchell, the magnificent reply, fear not that you have died for naught, the torch you threw to us, we caught. Its glorious light will never die, though we lie in Flanders fields. And the magnificent thing about that poem is that the sentiment is so much to honour those who died and initially it was to continue the battle. But the best thing of Moyna Mitchell's reply was that line of take up our quarrel with the foe, once the war was over, there was no more of taking up the quarrel with the foe. All the energy, all the passion went into honouring those who served and those who fell. And here in Mossman, the contribution of the people of Mossman was extraordinary. At that time, there were just under 16,000 people living in Mossman and for that, for that First World War, of whom 1,200 served and Tragically, 200 of them, and we see those names there, 200 did not return home. So it was a, a terrible sacrifice. I, as a, not quite an historian, but a historian, there was the story that I, I cherish of a dispute between William Hughes, Billy Hughes, and President Woodrow Wilson at the, at the Treaty of Versailles, the, the peace meeting, to decide where New Guinea, whether New Guinea would be held by Australia, Australian territory, or whether it would become Japanese. Woodrow Wilson wanted it to be Japanese. Woodrow, uh, Billy Hughes wanted it to be in the hands of Australia, which was hugely important strategically. And at one point in this furious meeting in Paris, Woodrow Wilson said to Billy Hughes, Mr. Australian Prime Minister, I represent 200 million Americans. Who do you represent? And he replied, I represent 60,000 dead Australians, which was the sacrifice that was made by Australians, 200 of whom are those. And that was an extraordinary sacrifice that was made. And here we are, nearly 100 years on, still honouring what, what they contributed, which is right and proper. And the terrific thing was, the first meeting here in Mossman, December 18, 1918, they got together and that was built by public subscription, people, the citizens of Mossman, putting the money together. And in 1925, it was built. 90 years later, it is still wonderful that we are still gathered to commemorate it and it is terrific that it's all kept together so well. There is one thing missing, however. That is, of course, the, those who served in the Second World War, in the Korean War, in, in Afghanistan, in Vietnam, in Iraq at the moment. Again, it is right and proper that we, the citizens, honour those who have served, those who did not come home, which is why we're gathered here today. So. I do urge all of my fellow citizens, it's terrific that Mossman Council and the Mossman RSL has underwritten the cost of uh, expanding that and all the details are over there, but it, it's important that it not simply be the Council and the RSL, but that we be we citizens of Mossman who also contribute so that a hundred years from now those names of those who served in those other wards that I mentioned with equal honour also be remembered. Thank you.